生。A traditional sheng, shou, or sarin wang, consists of three main components. Bamboo pipes, reeds, and a wind chamber. Component 1. Bamboo pipes of a traditional sheng. There is no specific bamboo type required. There are variants, with knots, and without knots. With yellow, or black bamboo. The 17 pipes variant is the traditional variant. The length of the pipes does not control the pitch. The pipes are arranged symmetrically in opposite groups in a circle. This layout is kept even if several pipes are silent because it is said that this layout was modeled after the mythical bird Feng Wang, which sits in its nest. If you were to remove silent pipes, you would destroy the symmetry of the wings. Finger holes are drilled at the bottom. The side walls of the pipes are cut straight. This prevents the bamboo pipes from pressing apart at the knots, or it allows for a smaller radius. On the inside of the bamboo pipes are made cutouts. This serves to adjust the air volume and the height of the air channel. This makes it possible to tune the pipes independently. The pipes are individually adapted to the reeds. Component 2 Free Reed The Sheng is one of the oldest free reed instruments in the world. Its history can be traced back to 1100 BC. Free reed means free swinging reed. There are two types of free reeds the ideoglital free reeds and the heteroglital free reeds. In the ideoglital free reed, the reed and the reed plate are made of one piece. As with the shang and other traditional Asian music instruments, In heteroglottal free reeds, the reed is separated on the reed plate. As with the harmonica, the accordion, the concertina, or the harmonium. Construction of a reed for a traditional sheng. The reed and the pipe are connected with a so-called foot. The foot is mostly carved from wood. The reed is cut to the size of the foot. In the middle of the reed, a U-shaped cutout is made. With the cutout, the frequency of the reed can be adjusted. The reed is prepared before it is placed on the foot. You need malachite and water. 
Malachite is classified in the mineral class as carbonates and nitrates. Characteristic for the malachite is its green color. The malachite is rubbed together with water in a bronze bowl. This produces a malachite water cream. This cream is applied to the reed. After that, you have to wait until the cream is dry. The cream is also applied to the back. The malachite layer also protects the reed from corrosion. When everything is dry, a small edge is cut off on the top side. The reed is now glued to the foot with beeswax. To do this, heat a tool. The beeswax is applied to the edges with the tool. The reed is now locked, but can still be tuned. For fine tuning, a mixture of cinnabar, beeswax, and resin is used. The tool is heated, and a small drop of the mixture is applied to the reed. If you have applied too much wax, you can remove it with a small knife. By applying wax, tone becomes deeper. Removed, the tone becomes higher. After blowing on the reed, the malachite cracks open. The malachite cream improves the sound and supports the playing technique. Without the cream, playing is more difficult. Over time, the malachite dust falls off the reed and should be replaced. During a retuning, all malachite and wax mixtures are removed and then reapplied, which is also called a wash. On reeds of a Shing variant from the Han Dynasty, small white pearls were found, which were probably used for tuning. The cinnabar, beeswax, resin mixture has probably been used for tuning since the Ming Dynasty. In Japan, a beeswax resin lead mixture is also used for tuning. In the Shang variants excavated from the ancient tombs, Reeds made of thin gold were found. Reeds today are often made of copper alloys. Component 3 Wind Chamber The wind chamber is traditionally made of gourd. There are 2400 years old models with gourd wind chamber. Or bronze wind chamber imitating the gourd wind chamber. But already in the Han Dynasty, the gourd wind chamber was replaced by a wooden wind chamber. In the Tang Dynasty, were built mainly wooden wind chambers. Today, many Shang wind chambers are made of metal. A Shang Wind chamber usually consists of three parts. Cover The holes for the pipes are drilled into the cover. Is usually glued to the body and sealed with the lacquer. Modern metal wind chambers have cover to remove. Neck. The neck is attached to the mouthpiece. With some variants, the neck is put directly into the body. Other variants have only a short mouthpiece. 
for metal wind chambers, the neck is welded on. Body Today the bodies are made of wood or metal. Condensation and corrosion The difference in air temperature between the mouth and ambient air causes condensation on the reeds. To prevent this, the wind chamber should be warmed before playing. Some players hold the shang in both hands for some time before playing to warm it up. There are also small ovens with coal or electricity that are used to warm up the sheng. These ovens are also used between playing to dry condensed water. If you don't do it, it can happen that the reeds glue together with the condensed water. The malachite cream on the reeds is also water resistant and protects against corrosion. Another method of protection against condensation is offered by the new metal wind chambers. An innovative, additional water chamber was developed. You can pour warm water into this chamber to warm up the wind chamber. The wetting. The ring connects and holds together. There are different ring models. Simple metal rings, rings made of bamboo, or rings that are adjustable. The ring keeps the pipes and the instrument stable. Remember, this innovative instrument was developed 3,000 years ago. Since about the middle of the 20th century, many new Shing models have been developed. New innovative designs have been developed. You can learn more about this at the end of the Shang series. Stay curious. Shang.